Good morning from my time, good evening from your time, or afternoon from your time, whenever you're watching this video. Today we have uh, quite a special video for me. Um, I've never tried an artist guitar before, but here we go. I've got my first artist guitar. You might remember I've done a video kind of going over the range when they released a whole new range at the start of 2020, it might have been. And I went through uh, looking through some of their models, seeing what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, I'm always really impressed with how they're just constantly stepping up their game with what they're releasing. It's really cool to see. I should put a disclaimer on this video. I got my first shot of the COVID vaccine yesterday. So I've woken up feeling a bit groggy, a bit tired, a bit out of it, but I um, wanted to get this video done. This got here a few days ago. I haven't changed anything about it yet. But that's why I wanted to get this video done because I want to change it and kind of set it up to how I like my guitars. But I wanted to do this video straight out of the box, basically. So I did the unboxing uh, with my mum, actually, because she really was just excited to see what this guitar looks like. So I will put the model number down here somewhere. I'm not sure specifically what model number it is. I'll be honest. I saw it had a gorgeous mince surf seafoam greeny body it's my favorite color on a guitar you can't go wrong with like a surfy green and i saw it had a roasted maple neck um and i just had to have it i've been wanting to try an artist guitar for ages you might remember in my video going over the range of artist guitars that i really wanted to try that black strap type guitar or sorry s type guitar that had a roast maple neck and a humbucker here as well as two single coils so this is kind of in that vein, but it's a bit different. It's a bit more traditional Strat and just a far better color in my opinion. So I wanted to tell you about the experience straight out of the box and then I'll set it up and paint this guitar in its best light. So I wanted to be transparent with you guys, let you know what it's like straight out of the box, how it feels, if there's any defects or flaws or anything, but I also wanted to paint it in its best light. So I'm going to put my favorite gauge of strings on it, set it up a bit more how I like it and show you how it sounds there. So out of the box, it comes with uh, D'Addario's or D'Addario's 10 to 46 strings. Now that's pretty, a bit too thin for me. I prefer 10 to 52's and I can really feel the difference on this guitar. So yeah, it's feeling a bit slinky, a bit loose for me at the moment. It comes set up, actually I've got my measuring thing here. So it comes set up at 2.5 on the top E string at the 12th fret and on the bottom E string, oh, about 2.25. Again, that's a bit high for me, especially with these gauge of strings. I think if I had my preferred gauge on it, I'd probably be happy with this setup. But yeah, the setup combined with the thinner gauge of strings is making it a bit... Uh, it's a bit difficult to play when you get up to the dusty end, in my opinion. Uh, so it is set up a little high. The nut is cut just a smidge too high. You could probably get away with not doing anything about it, but if you really want it playing as perfect as you can get. I would just cut it down a little bit. It came with more plastic uh, film on everything that I've ever seen. There was two layers on everything. And it was really gross, cheap plastic. So I've taken all that off, especially on the locking tuners on the back where it's left uh, some residue. But we should go over the specs. So it's got a roasted maple neck, standard strat scale length. The roasted maple neck feels really nice. It feels like a uh, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of feels like one of those unfinished maple necks, but better. <laughs> so uh, if you've ever tried like a Squire Affinity Strat or something where it's got the just oiled maple neck, it feels like that, but much more refined and much smoother. It's got artist own brand locking tuners, which look very cool. They work in the traditional locking tuner way. The pickups, it does not say on the website what the pickups actually are. Now they're a bit ambiguous with that, but I will try and f do my best to find out. If I had to assume, they might be the artist Wrangler pickups, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, Wilkinson, two point Trembridge. It did come, I'll, I'll go get the case candy actually. It did come with like a Trembridge and all the other bits and pieces. One volume, one tone, how strat should be. Jack input on the side, very good. And really nice contoured heel. It actually reminds me very much of the contoured heel on my Ibanez. Yeah, look at that. They're almost, they're almost similar. So, and I love that Ibanez. In terms of defects or flaws or anything, there was the, the finish could have used a bit, tiny bit more buffing. Um, it's pretty good, but there are some swirls and stuff that you can see that I saw straight away. <clears throat> as I took it out of the box. So it just, you know, it's been out of the box for a few days, but yeah, that's something I noticed straight away as, as soon as I took it out of the box. So yeah, it could use a bit more buffing, but I don't think anyone's gonna complain for a $399 guitar. There's also one tiny, it looks like just a paint crack, or maybe not even that, just the finish on top of the paint. Uh, down by the heel joint, which is common on a lot of bolt-on neck guitars. It's just a bit of a shame to see it straight away. I'll do a close-up of that so you can see it. So what do you get as well as the guitar? Well, you get the standard trim arm. And it looks like it's one of those trim arms that slides in so you don't have to screw it in, which is the best type. It's the only type of trim arm. And that feels a bit loose for my liking. I'll probably swap the springs around on the back, make it a bit tighter. Comes with the standard Allen key for the truss rod and a really cheap, awful guitar chord. Uh, well, that's what I'm assuming anyway. Most guitar chords that are designed like this, that are rubber, plastic, the whole way around, not very good. So overall, the unboxing experience was uh, good and bad in some ways. Mostly good though, it's a beautiful looking guitar. <laughs> I'll do some close-ups and sweep shots so you can see how really nice it looks. The roasted maple neck is a really nice looking thing. Oh yeah, it's also got, you can see there, a contour for your hand. It wasn't set up horribly out of the box, although would have preferred my gauge of strings and a bit lower action, but I can understand this is a gauge of string that most people like, especially beginners, and this is probably gonna be a beginner's guitar for a lot of people. Having said that, the action is probably far too high for a beginner, in my opinion. It was packaged very well, packaged quite beautifully, actually. Um, yeah, not worried about it getting damaged in transit after seeing that packaging. So I would, I would order from Artist Guitars again, knowing that now. Uh, this pickup, the middle pickup, is a bit too high for me. I know a lot of people, including myself, like to lower that pickup a bit. Uh, that's pretty high. Other than that though, I think it's time to uh, set it up myself <laughs> to my preferences and my spec and kind of make it a bit more my own. And then we'll go through some sound demos and uh, see how it really plays. So I'm about to teach some guitar via Zoom, wish me luck. Uh, and I'll see you after that with a nicely set up artist guitar. <laughs>
So you would have just heard some playing uh, unmiked from this guitar, some clean sounds, some tube screamer sounds and some drive from the amp, just to give you kind of a rough overview of the sort of sounds we're getting from this quite frankly beautiful guitar. Um, if you guys want a proper kind of demo rather than a review where I mic it up properly, i uh, more than happy to do that. I've been playing it for the past oh, few hours or so and I feel like I've played it enough to gather an opinion on what I think of some of the parts of the guitar, how it feels, how it plays, so on. So let's start with the negatives first. I'll show the photo now, but I did notice when I was setting it up that this back plate was on backwards. So this hole where the strings, uh, you stick the strings in and out was actually up here. So that's just uh, something in QC that got through. So I think who you can see here, who passed it? Uh, maybe not. So, you know, very minor issue that this was back to front, but you know, it's just worth noting that it did come like that and that was a bit bizarre. Uh, the E, the locking kind of wheel on the low E, so our big string there is wobbling a little bit. You can screw it in as far as you want and it still wobbles a bit. Uh, so, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. It's a $3.99 guitar with locking tuners, so, yeah, it's going to be, you know, I'm not surprised. Take those sort of things with a grain of salt. Just understand you get what you pay for. If you want those premium features on a guitar at this price, those premium features are going to be bottom of the range premium features. The tuners themselves do feel pretty cheap to turn, if I'm honest. Uh, they feel a bit loose, a bit slippy, a bit... Yeah, they just don't feel fantastic to turn and fantastic to tune compared to just a lot of other tuners you can get at this price point. And I think that has to do again with just the fact that they're cheap locking tuners. The bridge down here is a fantastic bridge actually. Really smooth, really easy to set up and work with. Wouldn't expect anything less from a Wilkinson bridge. So that's really cool. That's a great sounding, so great sounding, great feeling bridge, I guess. These pickups. The pickups were an interesting point of difference for me. Uh, I've played Mexican strats, I've played American strats, uh, I've played, you might remember a while ago, I had a blue kind of custom strat that I put together, which has since changed heaps. I've got my PV Predator USA strat. I've tried a lot of different strat pickups and strat sounds. These sound, honestly, a little bit, I don't know, cheap's the wrong word. I think just not super vintage. I prefer a nice Alnico magnet, vintage 50s or 60s pickup. These seem a bit bright, not lifeless, but a bit, I don't know. There's a, there's a, there's a certain personality from these pickups that are lacking compared to other strats that I've loved over the years. I do really like the sound. And the one thing I will say that you would have heard in the sound demo is the tone control about 90% of the way down gives you a great humbucker impersonation. Uh, so they're quite versatile pickups, just lacking a bit of personality for my taste. The roasted maple neck was beautiful to play. This contour was beautiful to play, as was this one here. It was a really beautiful playing guitar set up really easily actually. The electronics feel really good as well. So the switch and the knobs feel really good. They feel on the cheaper end, but kind of expensive cheap, if that makes sense. The frets are very different to most strats I've played. They're pretty sizable frets, to be honest. If you're into your vintage feeling necks, you, this isn't the one for you. It's a pretty thin or thinner neck, almost a D-shaped neck and 
pretty thick frets on it. So if you're into your vintage baseball bats with tiny frets, no way is this the one for you. Overall, I think if you're looking at getting this guitar as a beginner, I would potentially look elsewhere just to make sure there's nothing else that you're missing out on, like a Squire Affinity Strat will probably come set up better, or a Epiphone Les Paul Special 2, something like that. If you know what you're doing, not that beginners you know, can't not know what they're doing, but if you know what you're doing with setup and you know, you know how to work on a guitar a little bit, then this is gonna be a beautiful thing for you to work on. It did need a bit of TLC, it needed a good setup, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. I won't be getting rid of it. It sounds, you know, it's got its sound, it plays amazing. Uh, I think for me, it's just nice to have something different around in the form of a modern playing Strat rather than all my vintage Strats that I've had experience with. Well, there's that review from me of this mystery artist model guitar. I'll put the thing again down here so you can see what specific model it is. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this guitar if you've had a chance to try it. I think if I was going to give a simple verdict overall, you know, f sub $500 guitar, unique look, unique specs and features, it would be a solid yes, I recommend this guitar for sure. Artists are very good with returns as well. If you have a problem with it, you can just return it, no problems. They've always been good to me with that. If nothing else, it's just a beautiful guitar to have. It really is a beautiful guitar. And coupled with the fact that it plays really, really well is, you know, a real win in my books. Change the pickups if you want to. I might at some point, I don't know, to be honest, I might change them at some point to something, you know, some Seymour Duncans or something. I don't know. We'll see how I go when, after I've had it for a few weeks and I've kind of really gotten to grips with it. So I hope you enjoyed this review in this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.